What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to get right into the video. And more than likely, you've clicked on this video because you are either a senior in high school or you are a freshman in college and you want to kill it, okay? You want to do your best and just make your experience great. So today I am going to be giving you guys all the hacks and the tips and tricks on how to heal your freshman year in college. So let's get it. I am going to also touch on the unforbidding discussion of partying, okay? So I believe that every parent would tell their child, when you go to college, you bet not party, you bet not be going out, you bet not be doing this. But in reality, to be honest, your freshman and sophomore year is going to be your best years to party. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and keep it real with you. I tell this to any, I would tell this to anybody. I've told this to my family members who are in college. If you are going to party, okay, this is your time to party. There is a fine line between partying and being successful in your college career. And personally, I believe that, you know, there's nothing wrong with partying during your freshman and sophomore year. And that is just reality. I believe you just have to be really smart and understand what your goal is and what you are in college to do. You have people who go to college and be in college, I'm not even lying, seven years because they party too much or they're just there to party. Let me tell you something, there is nothing wrong with partying, okay? Personally, I did my most partying in college my freshman and sophomore year. And look, I graduated. Look, I have a master's degree. So it's not going to hinder you from being successful but you have to be smart if you are going to party you need to party on the weekends only you have some people who are in college who party every day of the week and you really can't do that you just have to make sure that you prioritize you know you have to understand that above everything your assignments and your degree is what's most important and partying is something that you are going to do and can do for the rest of of your life, okay? I am currently 28 years old and I have partied beyond undergrad, okay? And I, honestly, partying is going to be more fun when you get older because you're gonna be able to have a little bit more freedom, okay? You know you're not going to have an assignment due Monday. You know you're not gonna have to get up early and go to an 8 a.m. class. So there is some leeway and some pros and cons into partying when you're in college. Now, would I take back any experience in college of partying? Never. Will I take back anything I've ever done? Never. It was definitely a learning experience and I enjoyed every single night I went out. But I went out on the weekends, okay? And in the summer, it really was lit, okay? It was very lit in the summertime. But when it comes to partying, make sure that you have your priorities set in place. After your first couple months of school, you see your grades and you're like, hmm, my grades really aren't that good, you know? You have to reassess and see what is really going on and why aren't your grades that good? Is it because you're not putting a lot of time into your studies? Or is it that you're not receiving your lectures well? Or is it because you're partying? You know, you really have to see what the deal is and really adjust yourself. I'm not going to say, hey, you're gonna kill your first month, your second month. Like, it's going to take time for you to really mold yourself into being a college student. Because like I've mentioned before, a college student is definitely different than being in high school, okay? It is not the same ball game and you definitely have to have your head on straight, okay? But I don't believe there's anything wrong with partying. I just think you have to be responsible, respectful, just really aware of your surroundings and what you're doing when you are in college in general and you want to have a good time. Because I don't think that should be taken out of the college experience because that is the college experience. Okay, all right. So now let's get on the topic of remaining healthy while you are in college. If you are an athlete, you have plenty of food to your disposal. You have meal plans, you have dining halls that cater to you and your nutrition. You have nutrition bars in the weight room, honey. 
you got it going on. But outside of that, you do have to make sure that you eat healthy and really stay on a good diet. I'm sure you have heard of the freshman 10, 15, 20, whatever. People say you gain weight when you're a freshman, okay? You are gonna gain a little weight because, hey, you're out of the house, okay? You don't have anybody telling you what to eat, when to eat, how to eat. So you are going to do what you want, okay? Live your best life. Live your best life. But it's really important to make sure that you develop a routine of regularly shopping for food, getting food, and utilizing the dining halls as much and as little as you can. Now, dining halls are great. They're gonna give you everything that you need, the good, the bad, the ugly. But as a young adult who has just been thrown into the world, you need to develop some skills on how to go to the grocery store, pay for your own, own food pick up laundry detergent pick up the essentials the thing that you need that your parents used to do so it's really important to make sure that you understand that a healthy lifestyle is outside of what you consume it's also the best practices that you apply to your life that will carry on with you throughout your life you know so Utilize, I will say this 10 million times, but utilize your resources. So that is going to conclude my video. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will definitely answer them for you guys. And I may even come back and do another video. I'm really not sure, but leave me some video suggestions on college life, being an athlete in college, just how to succeed in different things in college. Let me know and I'll definitely do that. So smooches and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!